Okay, hello everyone. I think people are still trickling in from the meeting room and things like that. So we'll wait a couple more seconds and then dive into the session. So I think most people are coming. I'm sure people will trickle in more as well. Uh, but thank you for attending today's parallel session uh, entitled Heated Future Fit Technicians. Uh, before I introduce our speakers, please ensure that you've got your microphones muted and your cameras off. Uh, if you wish to ask a question at any point throughout the session, uh, please type into the chat function. Uh, questions will be put forward at the end of uh, the session by uh, Sewell Mir, uh, who is the Head of Training and Development at Heated. Uh, if you experience any IT difficulties, please just leave and rejoin the meeting. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on the waiting room and readmitting people if, if anything does happen. Um, also a reminder that we are recording this session, uh, but without further ado, uh, we'd like to welcome Liam Barr, the Operations and Engagement Manager at Heated, um, for this session entitled Heat, Heated Future Fit Technicians. Uh, so Liam, I'll hand over to you. Thank you very much, Jake. Um, welcome to everybody. Thank you very much for joining us today. It's an absolute pleasure to, to have you with us. Uh, just as a way of introduction as to who I am and why I'm talking with you today. Um, so as Jake said, I'm the Operations and Engagement Manager at Heated. Um, my background has um, mainly been in uh, sales, marketing and business management for the last 22 years. And I joined Heated in March of 2020 and I'm delighted to be part of it. Um, my main duties and responsibilities are to manage the heated operation team and its functions, uh, to drive engagement through the member institutions, and to look at analysis of engagement with the programme, including analysis of impact of heated CPD courses. So looking at the kind of overview of the session today, we'll be doing a very, very quick and brief um, introduction to heated and what's been happening in sort of the last 12 months or so. Um, but then the, predominantly we'll be looking in the session at the impact of CPD courses and learning. So just as a way of introduction, Suelle will be uh, fielding questions at the end of the session along with myself as well. Um, Suelle is a career technician with 30 plus years of experience providing technical services to academia and HA. Uh, I'm sure many of you have, have, have met Suelle before or been on a course that he's hosted. Um, prior to joining Heaton in 2007, Suelle held positions of Head of Technical Services at UCL and Operations and Learning Services Manager at the University of Westminster. So myself and Suelle look forward to answering your questions at the end of the session, but what I would say is please do post any questions you've got or any thoughts or any suggestions in the chat function. We'll endeavour to answer as many questions as we can today, but it is a shorter session, around about 25 minutes or so. So if we can't get through your questions, what we'll do is we'll publish all the questions and the answers to them on the website following the session. Um, and any published questions will remain anonymous as well. So um, please do feel free to, to get involved. So the session agenda, very quick introduction to Heated and the review of 2020, 2021 academic year highlights for us, moving into impacts of Heated CPD courses and the survey that we've launched, and then into a Q&A. So who is Heated? Um, if you haven't heard of us, um, if, you've, if we've managed to escape you, uh, we are the Higher Education and Technician Educational Development. A uh, bit of a mouthful, so most people just stay heated. Um, but predominantly, we look at CPD courses, networking, career support, resources, um, and we bring you latest news from the technical community. So that's us in a nutshell. Looking at our history in brief, so around about 2001, um, we, there was, there was like a bit of a, a scoping um, exercise that was carried out by the IST. Um, and this was more kind of like, you know, a bit of a recognition of the fact that the HE sector was, was, was kind of in decline and skill shortages were foreseen within the technical services kind of areas. So um, people started thinking, right, okay, what can we do about this? And the IST officially commenced the work receiving funding from the Leadership Foundation. He then secured further funding from HEFKE, now the Office for Students, uh, which brought greater visibility and, and, and purpose to, to kind of what we were doing and, and, and supported the technical community further. The Gatsby Foundation also provided resources to deliver the programme through its generous funding programme. And prior to ascending to the University of Sheffield, he became part of STEM learning, so formally as my science learning, if, you, if you're not too familiar. Um, and then in March of 2020, it was decided that Heated would move back to the University of Sheffield and sub subsequently became the training arm of the National Technician Development Centre. So just looking back over the last academic year highlights, so Heated supported technical professions with 
65 institutions getting involved, uh, 76,000 pounds of resources were distributed to 560 individual technicians free of charge. Um, so we're very happy to support people through the pandemic. We launched our brand new standalone website, which is heated.org.uk. So if you haven't already checked it out, please do so in your own time. Um, we will be working on the website continuously throughout 2022 as well. So um, if you look now and you look in six months time, you'll probably see a very different website. All our networking events move to an online platform for obvious reasons. Um, and I'm really happy to say that 550 technical professionals came together from all over the UK to join those events. We referred 106 learners to third party specialist training providers, saving our members over 15,000 pounds with heated discounts. Always worth asking us. And the team undertook a large project to move the majority of its courses online. There are now 26 readily available online courses, including five brand new courses introduced in 2021 based on feedback from the technical community on events and course feedback forms and then subsequent conversations. So fast forwarding a little bit and looking at the focus point of today's session. So from December 2020 to July 21, heated around 28 courses. We snuck a last one at the end. Um, we welcomed 214 learners um, from 47 universities and um, total 1,230 CPD hours being recorded. But a question, that's all great, but what impact did this have on our learners? And that's something we really wanted to, to understand. So we launched an impact of CPD courses. We wanted to analyze the impact of these courses and, and looking back at the last academic year, learners um, posed some main questions and also some other side points which we'd like to share with you during this session. Um, just for a bit of context, the survey was sent to all individuals who attended the course. Um, the results in so far, as per the 20th of the 10th, indicated the following findings, which we'll discuss. Um, but please note the survey does still remain open and we'll publish the final report soon. So when we get the final numbers, we'll, um, we'll let you know. So the first question we posed to people was, has your learning from the course led to a change in the way you approach your role? Now I could go through all these answers and just tell you what people have said, but I thought, hey, do you know what? Let's make it a little bit more interactive and let's make it a little bit more fun. So we've got some poll questions, a bit of a quiz, and there's five. So um, well done if you can get five out of five. Let's see how you do. But the question I would like to ask you is bearing in mind the question on the survey was, has your learning from the course led to a change in the way you approach your role? The question to you is, what percentage of people do you think said yes? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the majority of you are going for 51 to 75%. Fantastic. The actual number was 72%. So well done to you guys who uh, were, were kind of close. 72% of people surveyed said the course had changed the way they approached their role. 25% of the people surveyed said that they'd experienced a very impactful change following a CPD course, with a further 54% agreeing that the change was somewhat impactful. Just to kind of add a little bit of context and, and, and pull out a few um, comments that people have put there. Um, I've made many um, connections across the university, including those in marketing, student recruitment and widening participation teams. So that's fantastic. Um, the task prioritization skills have really stuck out for, for, for somebody there. And, um, and the course helped reassure me that my ideas were good. However, some more planning would be required to approve upon. So, well done if you got that one right. Let's move on to question two, which was following the course, did you feel more confident in your abilities to carry out your role? So again, same question to you guys, just a bit of fun. Um, what percentage of people do you think said yes? And five, four, three, two, one. So 93% of you have gone for 50% or above, um, which is correct. 84% of learners said they feel more confident in their ability to carry out their role following attending the course. When asked how much more confident do they feel, 5% said they feel extremely more confident, 33% said notably more confident, and a further 46% said a little more confident in their abilities. So again, some additional comments that were put forward in the free text. Um, while it's less relevant to my current role, it's left me much more confident in the possibility of stepping into a management role. 
Um, so that's really building the foundations of that confidence levels for, for kind of future proofing for somebody that's obviously heading in the right direction for a management type of role. Um, and I believe that was off our um, technicians stepping into supervision and management course. Um, another one saying, I'm, I'm simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm more confident with outreach activities and initiating them. Um, and another saying, following the course, I feel better armed to do with interactions and staff and students. So fantastic to get those additional comments. Well done if you've got two out of two so far. Let's see if you can get three out of three. So the question to the survey was, has the learning had a positive effect on your day-to-day -day working life? And the question to you again is, what percentage of people said yes? And five, four, three, two, one. So the majority of people going 51 to 75% and a few saying 76 and above. 76% of learners said um, that the learning from the course had a positive effect on their day-to-day -day working life. 4% said this effect was extremely positive. A further 24 noticed a positive effect and 48% of people described this effect as somewhat positive. And again, just some additional com uh, comments that people have entered into the free text there. The course has helped me point in the right direction regarding support, funding, and alignment of my activities. I highly recommend this course. Thank you very much. Uh, one simply saying, I thought that this course was of great value and benefit to my role. Um, and another saying, while I've not yet moved into a management role, the conflict management guidance in this course is excellent and any, for any interactions with staff or students where conflict has occurred. So again, we're future-proofing um, somebody that looks like they're about to move into that management type of role. Okay, it's getting exciting, isn't it? You've got three out of three, sweaty palm time. So question four, the question on the survey was, if applicable, do you feel your working relationship with management improved following the course? And I just want to put a bit of context into this before we put up the question. So. In my previous um, roles, I've been very, very lucky to undertake a lot of CPD and, and, and additional training. And I've been on a fair few courses. And um, I was very interested to kind of find out whether it was the same in technical services as it had been for me in my experience. And especially working within the recruitment industry for seven years, um, it, it, it was very clear to me that I, I didn't see the bigger picture for, per, for a period of, that, of, that, of that, that kind of element of my career. And it wasn't until I'd had this training, I could kind of see some bigger picture ideas. And, and actually that had a knock-on effect to a, a better relationship with management. So I, I was keen to see if that was the case within technical services as well. So the question we surveyed was, if applicable, do you feel your working relationship with management improved following the course? And the question to you is, what percentage of people said yes? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the majority just picked is 31 to 40%. It's 36%. So 36% of our learners said they felt their working relationships with management improved. And again, some additional comments there. I really understand the importance of planning ahead or planning effectively. And the way I set out my plans to communicate with my boss is much better now. So really, really great to hear that. Um, one thing I can clearly um, identify between management and leadership and, and, and when each one is appropriate. And another saying, not necessarily management, but definitely improved and created new relationships with staff, staff across the wider university and outside of my school. So there's a knock-on effect there, isn't there, from the, the, the actual learning. It's, there's, there's a secondary knock-on effect there as well. All right, crunch time. So. Question five, this is it for the big bucks. Can you get five out of five if you're on it so far? Where applicable, has the learning had any positive effect, uh, sorry, positive impact on your personal life outside of the work environment? I'm gonna give a bit of context to that in a moment, but I'd like to do the, um, the poll first on this one. So um, the question to you is how many people said yes? Okay, in five, four, three, two, one. It's a draw. 21 to 30 or 31 above. Okay. 36% of people. So I just wanted to put this into a little bit of context for you. So um, throughout my training in CPD courses that I've been on throughout my career, 
they've benefited me in my career, but also secondary to that, you know, there's a lot of skills that I've taken with me into my personal life and day-to-day -day interactions with, with, with people. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, again, I was interested to see if that was uh, resonating with the technical services um, area as well. And, and, and really interesting, 36% of people surveyed said that they felt their personal life had been approved following the course. Um, I mean, I, I don't mind telling you, I use negotiation skills with my wife on many occasions, um, but that's a, that's a story for a different day. So well done if you got five out of five. Um, that's um, good work to you. Um, and as I said at the start of the, um, the presentation, um, I'd also like to share some other findings with you as well. So a lot of what we do at HETA is all about networking and bringing people together and sharing best practices. And one in four people have made a new connection and subsequently kept in touch with a fellow learner that's been on the course. So that's fantastic. If I'm absolutely brutally honest, I'd love to see that a little bit higher. So we're going to put some things in place which actually should encourage that activity a little bit more as well. But great to see that we've got a good starting point in one in four people making new connections on these courses as well. Other findings, 44% of people surveyed said they'd already recommended heated courses to a colleague, with a further 48% saying that they would very likely recommend a heated CPD course to their colleagues to further their development. Um, so fantastic. Um, that's, that's a really, really positive message, and we hope you can improve on that further. And 50%, I find this really interesting too, 50% of people surveyed found that the actual learning they took from the course was actually above their initial expectations when, when, when they booked on. Um, so again, that's that's fantastic um, and, and, and really, really positive. So we're very happy with that. So future fit technicians, you know, the undertaking of continuing professional development of technical services staff can impact not only on confidence, positivity and proactivity of an individual or team, but can also positively affect working and personal relationships. Um, and I'm going to leave you here with the second to last slide with, um, with a Chinese proverb, which is when, plan when planning for a year, plant corn. When planning for a decade, plant trees. When planning for life, train and educate people. So I'm going to hand over to Sue Ellen in a moment. And um, just before I do so, I just like to consider a few areas. Um, you know, do you have any thoughts, comments or questions on the survey results? We'd love to hear, hear what you think about some of those as results. Um, do you have any questions about heated and its services? Um, heated really, I know it sounds a little bit cheesy, but heated really is shaped by you, the technical community. So what else can heated be doing to support you? Um, are there any ideas where heated do not currently offer courses or services which would be of value to you? Um, and, and, you know, please feel free to pop something in the chat and we can have a conversation about that um, or get in touch with us after if you think that's, that's, that's more appropriate. Um, so all questions that are put in the chat or posed if people want to unmute, if that's their preferred option, um, will be answered. And anything that's posted in the chat that which we can't get through today, as I said at the start of the session, we'll post them and the answers on our website and they'll remain anonymous as well. So that's it from me. Thank you ever so much for listening. Um, I'd like to hand over to my colleague, um, Sue L now, um, who might like to um, prompt some questions and maybe um, reflect on the presentation a little more. So Sue L, I'll hand that over to your, uh, your good self there, sir. Thanks very much, Liam. And um, thank you also for sharing with uh, everyone here with regards to the findings from the survey. So um, I'm having a look at the chat function and we haven't got any questions there, but that's not an issue because what I think we could, should do is utilize this um, open uh, through an open floor, if you like, uh, opportunity whereby anybody is asked to um, ask, well, you're asked to sort of share thoughts or, or ask a question. So we've got one question, Tracy Warren um, has just posted a question. Uh, HR department took over our subscription to Heated and haven't renewed our subscription for the last couple of years, which is very disappointing as we have signed up to the technician commitment. Yes, it is slightly disappointing that they haven't, but um, I wonder if there's anything um, uh, sort of within the institution um, that might help to sort of uh, refocus the minds of uh, colleagues uh, at HR, Tracy. What are your thoughts? Tracy, if you um, unmute yourself and uh, maybe say something around this. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Um, I've been, good morning. Yeah, I've been trying to persuade the HR department for some time now to reinstate this. Um, it's something that I am trying to, to push 
uh, with the technicians, you know, around professional development and CPD and getting, you know, getting them on board. And they're coming around to the idea, but we need to be able to provide them with courses that are relevant for them and their roles. Um, and, you know, we do have an organisational development team. Um, but a lot of the things seem to be centred around academic colleagues rather than mm. the technical staff. So apart from nagging, I'm not quite sure what else I can do really, but well, I won't give up. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It's nice to see and find champions and it's the champions that make a difference, not only for your colleagues within Tracy, within your institutions, but also with HR colleagues um, to bring to their fore what's relevant and what's needed, as it were, because all too often... Mm -hmm. HR, HRD, aren't all too familiar with the needs of the technical workforce because their primary responsibility, it seems, I'm sure you'll, I'm sure it will resonate with other colleagues as well, seems to be with our larger academic portfolio of staff, then the professional service yeah. staff, then the administrative staff groups, and then what, what are we going to do about the technical colleagues? So sometimes it helps if we can maybe have a point of contact and maybe we can have a three-way conversation, bring in the champion, that's you, Tracy. Uh, Liam, I'm sure, would find the time to have a conversation with you, plus uh, your colleague, colleagues, mm -hmm. HRD, um, to showcase what it is that we offer through examples, through values. That, that would be really good, actually. And maybe that might re get them to reimagine, as it were, in terms of what it could do i.e. the membership for you and your institution. Is that all right, Tracy? That would be great. Yes, thank Wonderful. you for that. Mm. Just, just to wrap that one up then, Tracy, just remind me, please, of the institution that you're, you're, you're working at. I'm, I'm at the University of Bradford. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Okay, so what I'll do, um, I'll, I'll get in touch with you, Tracy. Um, no I'll hunt you down. I'll find your details. Um, please do. <laughs> and um, if you don't hear from me in the next 24 hours or so, just drop us an email through Heated. It might be that I can't find your details. Um, but I'm more than happy yeah, to have a great. conversation offline with you about that. And we can we can maybe give you some support and evidence of, of kind of what we're doing at the moment. One of the things that I would just like to really alliterate as well, and this, this, may, this may be kind of relevant um, to, to the Bradford situation as well, is um, I think Heated um, has massively turned a corner and is operating on a very, very different level and way. Um, we are a lot more welcoming to all technical services staff. That's the kind of consistent feedback that we get. Um, we're a lot more proactive um, with the way that we um, market, get bums on seats for courses, offer free content. Um, and I think if people are maybe looking at Heated two, three years back, I think they've probably got a very different conception of what heated is and what actually heated currently does today yes. um so it might be worth having a little bit of an update with regards to kind of who we are in 2021 yeah. moving into 2022 yeah. that might that might jeer a few people up as well yeah. okay liam thanks for that oh, my... so go on tracy sorry so hell so uh discussing it with the technical staff i think since we've kind of moved forward onto mm. um a, a more online sort of way of learning yeah. the technicians are more open to that and Wonderful. I certainly I certainly like CPD that you can kind of dip in and out of at your own leisure, um, sure. you know, because we're, we're all very busy. So the technicians would be really receptive to that sort of training. You know, if there was a course for this, you can, you know, you've got, I don't know, a week to complete it so they can pop in and out. I think, you know, they'd be really receptive to that sort of thing. Thank you for that final uh, thought, Tracy, on that. Now, I'm mindful of 10.55, and that's what we've been told, to um, finish this by 10.55. But I do want to sort of just very quickly um, say that we had, we've got a comment here from um, Claire Hassan. Um, and really, thank you, Claire, for sort of, you know, it, for, for your thoughts in terms of it resonating with regards to confidence and motivation, because indeed, you know, as you sort of saw in the survey, 84% um, felt more confidence to carry out their role. Um, but uh, the issue of funding is a sticking point. Um, so let me share my thoughts with you on that and with everybody um, offline, which as Liam has mentioned earlier on, um, as regards how we can navigate and what the opportunities are to navigate funding uh, within the institution so that we can get colleagues, setting colleagues to take up training and learning and make that, if you like, as part and parcel of them preparing and being fit for the future. So with that, um, I'm gonna um, sort of wrap this up and say thank you very much because it's 10.56, we're already running one minute late uh, for coming and joining us. And um, uh, please continue to uh, you know, put a post, a question on the um, Padlet wall.
um, if you if you can. So uh, that's for me, uh, Liam, Jake. Um, do you want to say any final thoughts? Just to thank you from me.